Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is October the 19th, 2021. And before we jump into things here, I wanted to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using a link help support the channel. I also have a Spreadshirt shop with a ton of different designs and a Your Playmat discount code for 10% off where you can build your own custom playmat. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis. So thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting the list off here with Sword of Cauldra from Mirrodin. This legendary artifact equipment is down 5.08% from 2065 to $19.60. And we have Finale of Devastation from War of the Spark. This card is down 5.23% from $41.51 to $39.34. And we have Spiritual Sanctuary from Legends. This Legends Reserve List Rare is down 5.30% from $42.62 to $40.36. And our next loser of the day is Colossus of Sardia from Antiquities. This card is down 5.63%. From $47.59 to $44.91. Next card on our looser section is Arid Mesa from Modern Horizons 2. This fetch land is down 6.14% from $18.41 to $17.28. Next up is Dark Slick Shores from Zendikar Rising Expeditions. This card is down 6.96% from $24.73 to $23.01. And we have Sarkon Unbroken from Dragons of Tarkir. This Planeswalker is down 7.47% from $18.35 to $16.98. Next up is Uba Mask from Champions of Kamigawa. This card is retracing 8.83% from $21.17 to $19.30. Next up on the loser section is Verdant Catacombs, another fetch land from Modern Horizons 2. It's down 10.64% from $25.37 to 2267. And our last loser of the day is Rings of Bright Hearth from Lorwyn. This card is down 85.05% from 4375 to 654. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are starting that list off here with Phyrexian Altar from Invasion. This artifact is up 5.10% from 7082 to 74 dollars and 43 cents now the most recent printing of this card came out in ultimate masters and currently that card is sitting at 8271 on the market so about eight dollars more expensive than the original copy this card is seeing a ton of play in the commander format in decks like will the rock cleaver eloise nefalia sleuth and even corvold fey cursed king Next up on the list today is Sylvan Library from Commander Collection Green. This enchantment is up 5.10% from $70.82 to $74.43. Now the Eternal Masters version of this card is currently sitting at $44.77 on the market. The 5th edition reprint is about $46.46 and the Commander Arsenal one is about $76.76. But the original copy from Legends is sitting at $265.31. This card is seeing a ton of play in the Commander format in decks like Set This, Harvest Hand, Lathor Blade of the Elves, and also legacy decks like Knight of the Reliquary. And our next winner of the day is Sakashima of a Thousand Faces from Commander Legends. This legendary creature is up 5.41% from 1995 to $21.03. Now, the showcase version of this card, which is the etched foil, is about $33.02 currently on the market, so about $12 more expensive than the regular copy. This card is seeing a lot of play in the commander format in decks like Kark the Thumbless and even Coma Cosmo Spirit, as well as Orval the All Form. Our next winner of the day is Azure Drake from Legends, and this Legends Uncommon is up 6.44% from $15.69 to $16.70. There is a cheaper copy that was printed in Chronicles that used the exact same art, and you can get it for about 13 cents on the market, so a cheaper alternative. Next up is Child of Alara. This card just continues to climb. This Conflux version of the card is up 10.19% from $16.29 to $17.95. Now, the From the Vault version of this card is up as well. It's at $22.15 currently on the market. This card is seeing a lot of commander play as a commander itself, and also in decks like Morph and the Boundless, and even Ramos Dragon Engine. 
Next up on the winner section today is Karn the Great Crater. This is the old border one from the Secret Layer series. It is up 10.37% from $21.31 to $23.52. Now the original copy that came out in War of the Spark is currently sitting at $8.70 on the market. And the stained glass version that you could get in Secret Layer as well is about $17.42. Now this card is seeing a lot of play in vintage Golo Stacks decks, Paradox Locum, modern decks like Tron, and legacy decks like Karn Echoes and Mono Green Cloud Post. And it looks like our last winner of the day is an Arabian Nights card. It is Island Fish Chaconius, and this card is up 19.65% from 43.11 to 51.58. Now the cheaper version for this card that uses the exact same artwork is about 25 cents on the market, and that is the fourth edition copy. This original version from Arabian Nights has a print run of 20,700 copies from the original set. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are starting the list off here with Shield of Duty and Reason from Apocalypse. This old frame foil is up 47.83% from 230 to $3.40. Our next foil winner is Incandescent Soul Stoke from Lorwyn. This card is up 49.53% from 537 to 803. Next up on our foil winner section is Patron Wizard from Odyssey. This rare old frame foil is up 60% from 124.97 to 199.95. And we've got Veteran Brawlers from Prophecy. This old frame foil is up 61.85% from $6.16 to $9.97. Next up is Callous Giant from Invasion. Another rare old frame foil up 64.18% from $3.35 to $5.50. And our next foil winner is Contested Cliffs from Onslaught. This land is up 123.33% from $11.53 to $25.75. Next up on the foil winner section is Troublesome Spirit from Prophecy. It's up 168.46% from $149 to $4. And we have Forgotten Harvest from Prophecy. Another old frame foil up 345.32% from $139 to $6.19. Next up is Holy Strength from 7th Edition. The 7th Edition foil is up 683.15% from $178 to $13.94. And our last foil winner of the day is Salt Crusted Step from Time Spiral. This land is up 1,425.93% from 54 cents to 824. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm as yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform and every little bit helps. So it looks like we may actually be getting some foil, old foil buyouts, I should say. We're getting a lot of Prophecy and Invasion and Mercadian Mass I've noticed in the past two weeks. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list, and what cards were you most surprised to see? I do read every single comment that you guys leave there, so please leave them down below. Also, I do these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.